Hi, so Robert Tube today on the Hunter Colour Wild. We're on Yukon Valley hunting for more trophies for Spring Creek Manor. We're trying to fill it up. All the little plaques, big plaques, diamonds, rays, we want them for Spring Creek Manor. But Yukon Valley, that's where we're at. One of my favourite locations here. We'll see what's down at this lake. But I also want to talk about dogs. That's right, we've got a new little trailer in this video we're going to talk about it a lot of people have been messaging me about content i made on dogs telling me what breeds they want to see what they want to know about the dogs it's a big thing for the hunter call the wild community and a lot of people are taking part we've got a nice little uh pie bold caribou in front of me so that's a nice bonus i think we're shooting with a seven mil but yeah what breed of dogs do you want to see also we've learned from this brand new trailer that we came out today is the dog is for tracking and it shows you a little part of it in the trailer about tracking so we know what the dogs are for a lot of people have been saying i want labradors i want all kinds of different breeds and i think this is only just the start of the dogs to come to call a wild so the bloodhound's probably the first what do you want to see next i think the labradors have got to be right up there but a lot of people have been saying reasons for having dogs so I know this tracking with the blood hand, but what do you want to see your dogs do? For example, some people want them for companions, just to join them in game, so it doesn't feel like they're alone and explore Call of Wild and the big reserves with a little uh, happy friend. Some people want them for reasons, so gameplay reasons like tracking, fetching animals, do you know what I mean? So there's lots of reasons to have them. What do you want your dog for? And what breed do you want? That's like I say, that's a very hot topic at the minute and I've been getting hundreds of replies over the last few weeks of what dogs they want and what animals they want to work for the dogs to work with. So like pheasants, for example, dogs to fetch pheasants. If pheasants get added, that's a highly requested thing. Um, hunting hogs, for example, a bigger dog for that. I suggested, for example, a bigger dog, like a, a Kangal, for, exa uh, for example, made of bears. Uh, wolves so there's a lot of um, there's a lot of reasons why dogs could be added and the gameplay reasons how they could really work now we've got a potential diamond highly conduct here I'm gonna take that out now if you're wondering why I didn't taxidermize that piebald caribou it was only a silver so if it was a big gold maybe but um, I'd like to get diamonds if I can help it so it was a nice animal a nice bonus and it looks like we've got a diamond harlequin duck which is great i really wanted to just talk about the dogs today but i thought i'd do a little bit of hunting in between see if we can come up with any diamonds for spring creek manor which it looks like we've got one here at this lake this lake is right in the middle of yukon valley it's sort of like uh sort of mountainous range right in the middle you can't miss it it's the only lake right in the very dead center of Yukon Valley. There's a really big Plains Bison. It won't make diamond, but it's a really big one. It's sort of a high gold over the other side. I might shoot that a bit later. But yeah, dogs, anything you want to know about it or you want to come for dogs, um, keep your eye out today because there is a live Twitch stream later on and I think they may show something in that. They do like to build up the hype for new content when it comes out. So keep your eyes on the Hunter Call of Wild social media channels because I think we may learn something new soon. But yeah, from what I've seen, there's six commands on the wheel of this trailer. So we know we can give it commands. I think we might be able to give it treats. I don't know, maybe like the Hunter Classic here is the trailer. So tracking with blood hands, that's what the Ford is, the command wheel, six commands, what we can see up to yet, and you can also see it levels up, so it probably gets better as you level it up. It's tracking blood, which will be very useful for wounded animals. Here it is, it's barking to let us know we've got it, and you give it a little pat. So I'm on my tube, please subscribe to YouTube channels, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching, bye bye.